What's up? It's time for One Piece. Man. Oh, man. I mean, it's just the terrible, isn't it? It's time for One Piece. Episodes 480, 481, 482, and 483. Um, I think the hat should stay off. I had it on at the start of the video. I'll just have it in my lap. Um, we are doing more One Piece. I'm so excited uh, to do these four episodes. I have been thinking about this all day. The, the fact that I'm going to end my day by recording this video. And I'm we're, we're doing it. We're doing these four episodes. Um, I, I'm, I'm really keen because the, the part that we're at, at in the story. I mean, Luffy's like at the, at the execution um, stand. Whatever the hell it's called, you know. So I think these are going to be some great episodes. And I'm really, really excited to get into them. Um, is there much I want to talk about before we get just straight into the video? I can't think of much right off the top of my head, but, um, thank you guys so much. I just want to, you know what? I just want to thank you for the support. That's what I want to do at the start of this video. I think every, every once in a while I need to check in and make sure I, I properly appreciate you guys because I love your comments. I love reading the things that you say. I love the support that you guys give me. Um, it's, it's so, I, I appreciate it so much and I feel like that you know, will sometimes be forgotten that, you know, I'm making this content for you and I hope you enjoy it, but I also, I get something out of it too. I get, I get the, I mean, other than, you know, other than the, the support that people give me on Patreon and on my YouTube memberships, I also get support just from you guys liking the video, commenting down below, stuff like that. So please keep that coming if you can, um, because, uh, as I've said in the past, I'm a small channel, so every, every bit that you can help me out helps me out. So comment down below, like the video, subscribe subscribe to the channel that stuff is uh is incredible for me but we're gonna be doing four episodes today um and i also uh you know what no i was gonna talk about something i'm, I'm scheduling on the channel in the future but i actually don't know if i am so <laughs> i'm not gonna say that um but regardless we're gonna jump into these episodes make sure to support the videos if you can make sure to check out some other videos if you like these especially if you're new to the channel uh you know join the channel check out some other stuff that i do on this channel or on my main gent watches channel um and if you want to support me and get ahead on these episodes i mean i don't remember how how like close to the end of the arc we are at this point but i feel like if you're if you go to my patreon account we're going to be very close to the end or at the end or maybe in the next arc i don't know but you can go check that out in the description below the patreon account um to get you know at least uh 12 to 16 episodes ahead um and i have uh youtube memberships unlocked now where you can get two videos ahead of edited videos and i just want to quickly thank some of those uh members sundor doki doki franco l morov bn jose cantori Paul Clark, FCC View, Can Rotary Life, Nitho KS, Revenge isn't here, If Rib Rig Ashtosh Verma, Kenneth Lingdo, Cappy, Shoko, and S. Just the letter S. So um, thank you guys for for uh, supporting the channel. I like to read those names out because there aren't there it's enough names that it doesn't take 40 minutes on the video. Um, and you guys are some of the early adopters on this YouTube membership thing, and I genuinely do appreciate it. So, um, if I see you in your comments, I'm, I'm, I'll, you know, I'll, uh, I'll appreciate it. <laughs> so, make sure to leave your comments down below. But, let's jump into this. This is episode 480 of One Piece. Here we go. One Piece. Woo! Okay. Recap Rubik's. If you're new to this channel, this uh, this recap Rubik's is a Rubik's Cube that I do while the recap is going on. And my goal is to beat the recap. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome! Thank you for coming and checking out my channel. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, and that is the cube complete. Mwah. Time to fight grandpa. Gonna break your old bones, old man. I just thought about it, the fact that him calling his own grandson Straw Hat Luffy, like his pirate title. It's like, I think it's showing a disconnect, you know? Oh. He's cracking the ground. 
Oh, <laughs> Aww, El is crying over Kobe. <laughs> Hell yeah, Hell Mepo. <laughs> Good job, Hell Mepo. You care about your friend. I like how he's just hugging him. It's that's very cute. Oh! <laughs> yep! Goodbye, guys! <laughs> uh, this is a good plan. It's just her boobs. <laughs> oh my god. In a way. Yeah. <laughs> By marriage. Oh, doing uh, some backstory. Luffy fighting monkeys. Being trained by Garp, I guess. Is this why Luffy is always fine with beating up animals immediately? <laughs> oh my god, look at all these monkeys. <laughs> oh my god. He's upgraded the animal he's fighting. <laughs> oh, really? I'm gonna become king of the pirates. Yeah. I'm surprised Garb never, like, took the hat away from him. Like, if he didn't want him to be influenced by Shanks. That would have been really sad if he did, but I'm surprised he didn't. <laughs> oh, it is a nice relationship. It was a complicated one, but... Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I don't know if he can take Garp right now. Second gear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think Garp held back there a bit. Oh. <laughs> I like this dynamic of Luffy fighting friends, just hitting them with no mercy. <laughs> Amazing. Here he comes! Yeah, well, yeah, it was stupid to put him on the... Oh, in the defense. It's just cruel to put him up here. <laughs> oh, shit! Kizaru is such a cool villain. <laughs> yes! He's here now. Does he have to fight Sengoku? Aww. Now, I wonder about Sengoku. I wonder if he's strong, strong. I don't think we've ever seen him fully fight. I've imagined he's like as strong as a vice admiral, but just more upper ranking because of his intelligence. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. I can't believe I forgot that. Is Sengoku not even. Oh. Oh, shit. I guess never mind what I just said. He might be insanely strong. What's happening? What the fuck is going on? Whoa! I guess he doesn't have to pull out this move much. Holy shit, he's turning into a big gold statue? What is this? What the fuck is it? 
It's like, what's his name from Hunter Hunter? Uh, Netero in Hunter Hunter. Oh. oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, no! Who it landed in front of? Oh. Oh, right! And he can create the key with wax. I forgot he infiltrated. <laughs> oh, third gear. Ooh. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is a crazy fucking situation. And Luffy shrank, yeah. Yes! <laughs> nice, why did he have to scroll through other ones? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but it's funny. Wow. So Mr. 3 was inspired by Bon Clay? Man, Bon Clay's even the MVP when he's not here. <laughs> oh my god, he just suffocated him with wax really quickly. <laughs> Hell yeah! Man, yeah, if he lets Ace out of the handcuffs and Ace can use his powers again, then we're in business. Mm -hmm. Oh, but what if we got him out? Oh! Those are the open handcuffs! Holy shit! Oh my god. Whoa! The animation! <laughs> Look at that! That's so cool! We cut him out! <laughs> Amazing. Man, what a great episode. Ah, oh, so cool. So much cool stuff happening here consistently. I love it. Um, well, I, I'll start with just saying Helmeppo holding Kobe and crying over him is so sweet. <laughs> I think it also, I mean, I have to be honest. I think the live action also helped me care about that scene a lot more. Um, I truly did not give a shit about El Meppo until I watched the live action and now I care about that character a lot more um, because it's just I just feel like there's like I just I just like him you know um, so I so that that's just really nice to see like he was legitimately crying and hugging him I love that you know I feel like there's it's one thing to like be upset over it and be like looking down at him and be frustrated and angry and stuff. But to hold him like a mother holding a child is adorable. I really like that. Like it's also, you know, I think there's a a slight um, gag there of like, oh, look how sort of corny and over emotional Helmeppo is at this time a little bit. Like there's a tiny gag in there. But I think for the most part, that's just a very sweet scene. You know, I mean, they... They some they played a little funny at, at times, making Helmeppo's head like really big as he cried or whatever and stuff. But it was it was just mostly very cute. I loved it. So we saw some Luffy backstory again, which was just some classic Garp training him stuff, training him with monkeys. So did Garp train those monkeys? Is that how that worked? Did he, does he train animals? And then use those animals to train Luffy? I don't know, because otherwise, why are those monkeys like that? Or maybe they are like, uh, what's it, what is it? In the Alabaster arc, 
there were these like kung fu animals. I forgot what exactly the animal was, but I remember those kung fu animals. And so a big thing of them was they they fought and they liked to fight and train and all that. So it's possible that these monkeys are the same thing. They specifically do like to fight and they fight in certain ways and they have fun doing it. So Garp specifically took him to a forest that had those types of monkeys in them to train him to be able to hold his own in a fight. It's very cool. It's very cool. And it's cool to see Lu little bits of Luffy backstory. I, I feel like I don't need, you know, huge... Like, we got Luffy backstory at the very start of the series, which is just, like, you know, him and Shanks and how he got the gum gum fruit and all of that. And that, for me... I remember thinking, like, this is a thousand episode series, but that one backstory is, like, succinct and nice and effective enough that I don't... I feel like if you did a thousand episodes and still never gave us any more backstory on Luffy, I, I'd be happy, you know? I wouldn't need it. I wouldn't need any more backstory. I don't mean you don't have any more lore drops, on Luffy like it's obviously nice to find out who his dad is and and find out about Garp and all of that but I just mean like actually seeing parts of his childhood and stuff I didn't necessarily need it but it's still nice to see in moments like this l like little flashes of it I don't think I need I mean and I'll I'll change my opinion on this if we see it uh, if we see one of these and I think it's actually great, but I don't think I need like, oh, we're going to do a whole episode or whatever on something that happened in Luffy's backstory that we need to address or whatever, because I feel like we're seeing Luffy at the important part of his life. When he was a kid, I can kind of imagine that most of what happened when he was a kid was he looked up to Shanks, Shanks left, he, him and Ace sort of grew up together. He trained with Garp, and then once he was old enough, he just left and became a pirate. That's kind of all that I feel like is important about his backstory, and it's everything after that that we're actually seeing that is the important part of his story. So we'll see. We will see if they uh, end up showing us any more little bits of his backstory. I feel like they will, because there was that caretaker, and I forgot what his name is again, but there was that person who was taking care of Luffy and of Ace, and they keep not showing that person fully. And, uh, and I wonder, like, and, and the fact that they keep showing them makes me think that they are somewhat, uh, somewhat important. Dadan, is that it? it I, I have the, the word Dadan and then raise ace <laughs> after that. So I think Dadan is the person I'm talking about. But they keep not showing them. So I wonder if they are going to be important. Or if it is really just like, we're not going to show them because they don't really matter to this story. But I feel like you wouldn't purposefully obscure them if that was the case. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I really liked the Mr. 3 being inspired by Bon Clay stuff. That's kind of nice. They're... Oda's kind of doing it again. Or he's taking characters that I really don't care about and giving them little moments that make me really care about them. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I really care about Mr. 3 right now, but I really appreciate this moment. And this was his, this was my favorite of his moments ever in the entire series. Because just, it, he was in the right place at the right time and he did it because he was inspired by Bon Clay. That was... That was very nice. It's like what Oda did with Hachi, where I really didn't care about Hachi in the slightest. And then they give us that moment of him in the in the auction house, in the slave house, and him like trying to stop Luffy and taking the bullet in. And like, and suddenly I adore Hachi. I really, really love him suddenly, you know? So I think Oda's doing it again. But Sengoku's power is something to do with, like, he turns into a big Buddha and, and and punches. Okay, so I guess I'll take back what I said when I said I feel like he's maybe just Vice Admiral level. But maybe I don't take it back. I don't know. Because Vice Admirals are still very strong. It's not, like, it's not to say he's not incredibly strong. 
if he's vice admiral level. Uh, we haven't really seen enough of the Buddha power to for me to make a judgment on it. My initial thought, I guess I'll still stick with what I said, which is maybe he's just vice admiral level. Because so far the Buddha thing, I mean, he just did one punch with it. It took like a long charge up. I mean, this is anime time, so take the charge up with uh, with a grain of salt because it's firstly anime time in general in every show pretty much tends to be a very slowed down version of stuff and then we also take into account this is one piece anime time which is you know that could have been one panel that they stretched out to you know a minute long in the episode so who knows but from the charge up time and then the fact that he did like one punch and luffy was able to like block it with his obviously he had to go into third gear to do it but he was still like able to block it um makes me feel like you know if akainu had put lava it would have just burnt luffy to death and kizuru would have been too fast for him to react to i feel like and uh and Aokiji would have just frozen him immediately no matter what Luffy did. So like the three admirals, if they did an attack on Luffy from that close up with like nothing else really to defend him, I feel like Luffy's dead there. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm still I'm still thinking in terms of strength, he's vice admiral level, but you know, hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't need to like put him in a box. Maybe he's good in certain situations and not as good in other ones. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Let's jump into the next episode. This is episode 481. Okay, recap Rubik's. Here we go. There's the cube. Complete. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Yeah! We're celebrating tonight, baby! I mean, the, it's not over yet. We still need to get out of here. It's not going to be easy to get out of here. <laughs> One piece? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah he is. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be cool to see fucking Ace go all out. Oh my god, it looks like he incinerated some of them. <laughs> he shouldn't be able to, He's, his body isn't great, but. Oh. Oh yeah. And I mean, he's fire, of course. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's amazing how much Ace and Luffy look alike, despite not being blood brothers. That was cool. <laughs> nice. Finger guns. <laughs> oh, I love them working together. It's great. Mm, the Marines are on their back foot now. Whoa, that's gorgeous. That's so cool. <laughs> Aww, they're having some sibling bonding time, defeating marines. Aww. <laughs> Who's that? Who's standing there? 
Oh, 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 Okay, I mean, yeah, fire versus ice, I'd imagine fire would win. Seems like a pretty good count at ice. Oh, I mean, for just a glide like that, honestly shows how powerful Aokiji is. That his ice can even hold up to flames like this. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> you did great, Mr. Three. Uh oh. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how's lava versus fire gonna go? Ah, uh, hell yeah, squad! Oh, he's carrying that so heavily. At least he's doing something now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Nice. <laughs> it's insane. Oh. <laughs> Why be it such a great character? Mm -hmm. Okay. One last order. Uh, yeah. Oh. We'll split up. Oh. Just everyone retreat. Not together. Whoa. There's no ship that can bear me in the new era. Oh, oh my god. He's fucking insane. Oh. I don't I really don't want to lose Whitebeard though. He's so cool. But I've kind of expected we're gonna lose him throughout this whole arc. Damn. All these huge figures of the old era. Oh. Newgate. Newgate. Hang on. Why do I know that name? It feels obvious. But do I know it because of a non One Piece reason or because of this show? <laughs> oh. Yep, okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> I just, I rewatched that, um, that scene. The reason I was confused about it, because it's Newgate is Whitebeard. The reason I was confused about it is because when I was watching the scene, it was showing Whitebeard and his crew and then it sort of like, it did a, did a cut that I thought it was cutting to a different part of the same ship. And then it was like panning over to another crew member that Whitebeard had. But it was actually, it was looking at Whitebeard 
and then it and then Whitebeard was flashing back. The reason it was confusing to me is because it was a flashback within a flashback. I didn't clock that the second flashback happened, but Edward Newgate is just the name of Whitebeard, which I do have written down on my notes from episode 151. That's fucking ages ago, um, but I did I did find it. So uh, so yeah, that that uh, that definitely makes sense. So uh, don't correct me in the comments. I get it. I saw it. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry. Um, so yeah, he was just thinking about, oh man, but I mean, that's a total death flag now. There's no way Whitebeard's gonna be alive. <laughs> he's, he's dead now. That, that was, that was his farewell. And you know what? It's sad, but I'm not, I'm not gonna shed tears over it, I don't think, because it's so satisfying. It's such like an earned ending for him, I think. And... Like, he, I mean, he's such a fucking badass character. So, but he's actually almost so cool that you need to get rid of him in this show. <laughs> like, that you've, you've reached the peak with him. You've, there's nowhere else to go with that character, I don't think. Like, he's already at peak coolness, peak great, perfect character. That, like, if he stays alive, we'll almost be watching this show going, hang on, why are we even bothering with all these other characters? Why not just follow Whitebeard, <laughs> you know? He's so great. Him and his crew. I mean, it's been just a, just a, like a brilliant arc overall. And it's mostly because they have just, like Oda just did a great job developing this crew and everything about them. I really, I care about them a lot. And I love watching them. I love watching all this stuff happen. So, um, yeah, I don't think I have a crazy amount of notes for this. So this might be a shorter discussion. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, that was his, his order is by the, by the sounds of it, he was like, everyone get away, get out of here. Don't worry about like the crew, worry about your lives. <sighs> and that's his, you know, his last order, his main final order. And that's going to be, I mean, that would be hard for Ace to do. Like for Ace, this is like, you know. I was gonna die and you came and rescued me. I wanna, you know, if I'm gonna be rescued, I wanna go back to what I had. But it seems like he's not gonna be able to go back to what he had. He, he goes back to, I don't know, something else, something different. Um, may, makes his own crew, I don't know. But um, yeah, that was, that was really cool. Um, it was cool seeing Ace vs. Aokiji. I think I thought about that, like, early in, um, when Aokiji was... I, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I, I think I thought about it early in when Aokiji was introduced and stuff. The fact that, like, okay, so he's a... He's a Logia fruit that's, like, ice, right? So you, whenever there's a Logia fruit that pops up, you think about, like, oh, wh who would be, like, a good counter to them? Because Logia fruits are incredibly powerful, but we also, like, they are documented as being, uh, like, you know, you can exploit the weaknesses against them. So, obviously, for Crocodile, it was water weaknesses. For um, Eneru, Rubber was, you know, his downfall. So, like, with Aokiji, it was like, well, that's someone with a fire-based power, probably. So both Ace and Akain, Akainu would probably be counters to him. And they had them fight here and he withstood Aokiji at least, you know? Um, so, I mean, that, that shows how strong Aokiji is that, you know, it, was, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like Ace overwhelmed him. He just kind of withstood the attacks. But still, you know, it's a good matchup. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't think I have anything else to talk about in that episode. We're just gonna move right along to episode 8, uh, no, not 800. We're not quite there yet. <laughs> 482. Here we go. Okay, recap Rubix. Here we go. Okay, that's a cube completed. Wow, just in time. That was quick. Woo! That was a short recap, but I did it pretty quickly. Hell yeah. Take them all that down for what they did to Ace and you. Oh. 
They don't want to leave you behind. They love you. Oh. That's what he wants. That's what he ordered. Oh, <laughs> he's just as upset about it, but he knows that it matters. Is that Ace's ankles? Yes, it is. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> now he should just be like a turtle, crawl away. <laughs> like setting forward the new era of pirates. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to be nice to the transponder snail. Oh, don't be mean to him. <laughs> <laughs> True! I've always thought about this. Do these snails want to do this? They're all being used as objects. <laughs> yeah, because Buggy influenced him. <laughs> Buggy cared about him. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's seeing it now. <laughs> no one cares about the buggy storyline. Not even in universe. Yes! Why bit makes me feel like a man? He's, I think he's standing around because Ace is hesitating, yeah. I don't think Ace wants to leave him behind. It won't be in vain, why? He is gonna fight to defend Whitebeard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just say I love you. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Alright, hey, so you're gonna now leave at his order? Oh my god. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh my god. This is being broadcast. <laughs> oh. You're gonna defend them. <laughs> I think we could. Don't rain down more meteors, please. Oh, God. Oh. There's no way this works, right? Yeah, you're going against what Whitebeard wants. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Ace. Oh, Ace. Oh, he's gonna challenge a Kainu. Shit, man. Don't challenge a Kainu. 
Whitebeard's about to usher in the new era. Oh my god. Oh my god. Akainu is a douchebag who knows how to manipulate people. It's not a fake family, it's a found family. Damn. Oh, Ace. Oh. <sighs> Ace, you don't need to prove yourself to a Kainu. Or prove Whitebeard to a Kainu. But he's so hot headed, quite literally. Oh, fuck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I feel like Akainu is stronger than Ace. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, now the adrenaline's wearing off. Was that the Vivri card? The Ace Vivri card? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this fuckhead. Oh! Oh my god, is he going for Luffy? What? Was that Ace that jumped in front? I think that was supposed to be his tattoo. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like the fucking necklace thing coming apart. That's like Batman's parents getting killed imagery. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's the card. Yep. If it burns completely, that means he's dead, right? Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's so little. Fuck. Oh, I'm going to need to go into the next episode pretty quickly here. Um 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 okay. Uh I'm just I'm I'm creating a a, a section for the next episode's um notes. Um okay, I have one note for this episode. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna take a guess at what you think my one note for this entire episode was. You you have you have ten seconds, I'll give you ten seconds to think of your guess and say it out loud to your monitor or type it in the comments if you want. But say what you guess the 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 one note is. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time up. The answer is snails. <laughs> <laughs> Could you have guessed that? The the note was snails. Cause I was um because I was thinking, I mean, they were talking about the snails in this episode. And I mean this feels like a inappropriate conversation to have, like a inappropriate discussion to have after such a dramatic ending to that episode. Where Ace could be dying here, but we need to talk about snails. Because I've always thought about the fact that like these snails are living things and they're like sentient in some like they seem like they're sentient like they they have actual like thoughts and feelings and stuff um and i mean we know how they work they're like you know they're telepathic they can communicate with each other and they can like mimic the the characteristics of whoever's you know they're speaking through them or whatever it's very cool but because of that we use them as as phones in this universe and as cameras and all of that um but it also just makes me think like are, are we just like, especially when you put like a, you make a snail like just a security camera, you're just putting them on a wall and making them spend all of their time like looking back and forth, you know? At the very least in um, the live action, I remember them showing like, um, I think it was Garp feeding one of the snails. And so at least then I was like watching it, I was going, okay, at least they get fed and stuff. Like maybe they do get taken care of. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's just, it, 
It's just funny to think about, and also possibly sad to think about, because this show does not exactly treat animals the nicest. So, and like, as someone, I, you know, I don't, I don't mind that much, but it is definitely something to think about. Like these snails, the, like the Buggy was saying in this, like, hey, the snail didn't choose to be a slave to the government. And that's true. He didn't. So, you know, but maybe they still enjoy it. Maybe they do actually like being useful. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, Ace got punched through the heart with the Konus for Lava Fist. And, um, I don't know, man, is he going to survive this? Because, as I said, it was like Batman imagery with the, the necklace coming apart. Like, that's the sort of thing you do when you're killing a character. To show, to, like, signify them dying is, like, showing that all coming apart. And also, I mean, the Vivre card... The fact that it, like, it has... It shows, you know, the life essence, and it's, like, right there, and they've brought it out in the open... I feel like you'd do... You'd put that in this episode. You'd put that out there so that when Ace dies... And I don't want to say when. If Ace dies, you can signify it with the card going out. Like, that would be why you put it in the episode. To, like, confirm to the audience that he'd die. So, is that what they're going to do? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. Thank God we're doing one more episode in this video. If this episode is like an entire episode of Buggy trying to get the snail working or some shit. I'm going to strangle someone. <laughs> so let's move on to episode 483 of One Piece. Okay, recap Rubik's. We're gonna be doing the recap Rubik's except, you know, my heart's not gonna be in it because I'm scared about this ace thing. Oh no. Oh, this is a short recap. I only got one side. I feel like the recap's already over. So I'm not even gonna try to do the whole thing. Okay. All right. What the fuck's gonna happen? I don't know. Oh, don't let Ace die in front of Luffy. Oh, if a Kainu kills Ace. He goes so far up the ha hated anime characters list. Oh! Oh, Marco. Marco still has the fucking handcuffs on. Get them off of him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everyone's going back in to save Ace. Yeah. Yeah, get him off him. Cut off his arm. Marco seems like the kind of character that would cut off his arm. Oh, Mr. Three. Oh, this is what the audience wants to see. Oh my god. I mean, it's not exactly gonna be easy to stop a Kainu. Oh, he's like a fucking Terminator. Oh my god, that's a cool visual. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Oh my god, oh my god. He is. But no, Luffy's gonna do something, surely. <laughs> no! Kizaru! Oh my god, this is a disaster. We had like an episode of being on the winning side. Oh! Jinbei! You fucking legend! Oh. oh my god, Jimbei. <laughs> Fucking legend! Okay, okay, Marco's gonna get out. 
Garp, what are you doing? Are you gonna stop a Kainu? Or are you gonna help a Kainu? Oh, Sengoku stopping Garp. <laughs> if you let go of me, I'm gonna kill a Kainu. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus! And the other guy, I forgot his name, but I love him. Haki uses, yeah. Luffy's gone through too much for this to be something he has to go through. Uh huh. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Ivan, can you do anything? Um, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it looks like he got a, f a flaming fist through his chest. Oh, no. Does he not have a heart anymore? Like... Oh, God. Oh. Luffy. He can't... Ivan can't heal with that though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god, this episode. <laughs> oh. What's that flame? What does it signify? Oh. oh shit, we're going into ace flashbacks. Oh god. Oh my god, what fuckheads. うるせえ、ただ。何見殺しにしてやったとこだ。嘘だ。お前いつか。ああ、だ。だだにやったら。で、メンショニングだだ <laughs> Is this, <laughs> is this young Luffy crying? It sounded like young Luffy was crying there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing all these people who you mattered to fight for you. <laughs> They're showing me all of this. And then you're gonna kill him after all of this? Okay, what is that? <laughs> Does the white beard feel the essence of... Oh, it's the fucking... Thing. <laughs> oh. Arigato! <laughs> oh no. Are they gonna show the Vivre card burning out? Oh, what? 
来てみりゃわかる。おお、ホーリーシェッ !Just completely gone! おお、That's visceral!I can't believe it! Oh, he has a smile on his face. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> oh, that is really sad crying to watch. Oh, God. I'm not even crying. It's just. It's. It's just like a, a, a pain. <laughs> it's just a. A、uh, uh, uh, breathlessness that I have. I, I think I've said this before. I don't, I don't cry as much when it comes to like deaths, like really sad moments necessarily. It's like, it te I tend to cry when it comes to like, I, I, don't, I don't know, just other things.、Um, I'll cry of happiness quite a lot. I'll cry of a lot of other stuff. But this, it's just like a. I mean, th this is like a really horrifying, sad moment that just leaves me a little speechless.、Um, holy shit. And I mean, th that's. It's not just. That's not just like a one piece thing that I think they're gonna undo. That, that was like a. They tried to confirm that death in as many ways as possible. I think that was like Oda telling the audience, like, this one's for real. Like, his lungs are burnt. He can't recover from that. A doctor looked at it and said he can't do it. Ivan looked at it and said he's not going to recover. They had a really long scene of him saying goodbye. We had, like, Whitebeard pick up his thing. And if all of that wasn't enough, we watched the Vivre card just burn out completely. Oh, man. Ah.、Uh. <laughs> the fucked up thing is, like, there's. You. Luffy is losing non stop. Like, this, the middle of this show, and I'm, I'm just calling this the middle of One Piece, right? Because it, like, you know, if there's a thousand episodes and they're coming towards the end, apparently, of One Piece after a thousand episodes,、um, you know, they, we're, we're in the almost 500 range. We're around the middle. I mean, this is still, I guess, like, maybe the first third. But, you know. The end of the first act, whatever this is, this is. This part of One Piece is like Luffy never wins anymore. <laughs> Which I think is, is really bold of Oda. And I think it's a good choice because it, like, there are serious stakes now to everything that happens. And it, like, and it's almost like. Like, Oda is saying, like, yeah, I'm giving you all of these are the, all the most powerful people in the world and things in the world and stuff. But even though he's showing you all of these powerful things, he's also going, but look, Luffy isn't up to it yet. Like, Luffy isn't strong enough for this. And it's insane. Because we, when we look at this situation, I mean, it's. <sighs> like, Luffy has had enough, Oda. He's had enough. Leave him alone. This is, this is too much for him. We went through all of this saga. This, this whole summit war or whatever it's called, saga, has basically just been like, hey, let's fuck with Luffy the entire time. Let's have him just lose and lose and lose. I mean, he, he loses his crew and then he loses against Magellan. And he thinks his, his brother's gonna die, and then he gets him out, and then he, his brother dies in his arms. Like, oh my god. It's, it's really so bold, but so depressing the idea that this whole Marine for Dark was leading up to, by the looks of it, Whitebeard and Ace just dying. And sure, the Navy took damage. Absolutely. I mean, it looks like it's going to be hard to rebuild this shit.、Uh, they probably took a lot of casualties. It, there's. I, I, it's not like the Navy are coming out unscathed, scathed, but like. Man. It. We are just. Oh. This part of the show, they are putting us through fucking despair. 
So, what's next? Fishman Island or whatever? <laughs> I think I think the next saga is supposed to be Fishman Island. I know we're not there yet. I'm I'm pretty sure there's probably like 20 episodes left of this saga or whatever. But um, but uh, man, whenever episodes like this happen, I'm just out of it for a second. I wonder, is Fishman Island gonna be like a fun, <laughs> fun saga? Um, or I don't even need it to be like a, like, I'm okay if Fishman Island goes into like dark, um, dark territory or whatever. I just want us to win in it. I just want it to, there to be some, I know there's probably one thing that's going to be in Fishman Island that I already know about that will at least keep my spirits up. Um, because, oh, <laughs> jeez, man. Um, yeah. If you're new to this channel, and it's very possible that people are jumping on uh, to this video, like, after seeing this event, this must be a, an episode that people look for reactions to. If you're just new to this channel, I promise you my discussions generally have more in-depth uh, analyses of the episodes. I will talk about characters, I'll, um, I'll gush over things that I loved. But then there's like episodes like this, and it it like it it stuns me. Um, but I mean, it was really well done, and I I kind of can't like make fun of Oda right now for the whole like oh he always. I mean, well, I guess I'm talking too early. It's very possible in the next episode, <laughs> or like in ten episodes time, they go like. Ace just jumps up and goes, Hi, I'm still alive! And everyone goes, Whoa, Ace, how did you get out of there? And he goes, That wasn't actually me. And that was a fake v card. And blah, blah, blah. But I think I think even Oda knows that would be the the like worst thing he could do for this arc um, after doing all of that. Um, but, you know, you can't. I can't really say to Oda anymore, like, Oh, he's just going to bring these dead characters back or whatever, because this was a... This was a death. I think I remember someone saying like, yeah, the the will of D or whatever. What was it? No, the will of P, Pell, the will of P. Um, that was the pe thing people would talk about. I, that's like the whole idea of like dead characters not staying dead in One Piece. I think I remember people saying like, but it's okay because like, you know, there are, you know, there are sometimes deaths in One Piece and when they happen, they hit hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thing is, like, I I love Ace. He wasn't... He's not, like, one of my top characters. That's not really why I'm upset about it. Like, it's... You know, I, I, I love him, but, like, if he just wasn't in the show much, I wouldn't mind that much, you know? But what I do care about is the fact that it was just... It's Luffy. That's all I care about. I care about Luffy, and I'm so protective over him, especially now. This is the worst thing in the world to happen to him. Jeez, man. How is he going to recover from this emotionally? I don't know. Um, but yeah, the reason I was thinking about, like, if Fishman Island is going to be, you know, a bit more upbeat is especially since, like, knowing Oda, sometimes he likes to have, like, serious stuff followed by goofy stuff because he wants, you know, people to cheer up and fun things to happen. And also, like, he's talked about how he likes to end arcs with or sagas with like a party a big party with everyone in it or whatever i imagine this saga is not ending with a party <laughs> i imagine that's not happening but um but because of that i feel like oda would be like okay next next saga we're gonna do something we're gonna start with something super fun or whatever i don't know um Man, that moment of Jinbei defending Ace, like, just jumping in there and blocking Akainu's attack, was so cool. That would have been so cool if that was the way Ace got away, was, like, Jinbei... I mean, even if it was, like, Jinbei sacrificing himself, that could be cool. Because Jinbei, we haven't known long, but he's, like, the sort of character that is perfect to bring in with the sole intention of sacrificing himself at a major moment like that. Um, but, yeah, I guess that didn't happen. Yet, maybe he still could sacrifice himself. And I mean, Whitebeard's still not dead. I just think he will die. Like, I don't I don't see him getting out of this. So I'm also mourning him a little bit. 
ha 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 ha. <laughs> well, that's one piece. I'm going crazy. I'm going to wrap up this episode there. So, um, yeah, that was episodes 480 to 483. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to support the video if you can. Liking, commenting, subscribing. I need it, really, after this. Uh, my Patreon account is in the description below. It has the full-length reactions as well as early access. You can get the next... 12 to 16 episodes or so on there right now and um, I have a YouTube membership so thank you to all my YouTube members you can get the next two videos on there uh, in edited version and also like a little icon next to your name and lots of other stuff on there right now go check it out anyway thanks for watching I'll see you next time goodbye